Our journey begins with Bhuloka, the first sphere, the realm of gross material creation. This is the visible universe that we perceive with our senses. From eternal substance to the tangible matter, Bhuloka encompasses the entirety of the material cosmos. Moving on to the second sphere, Bhuvraloka. Here, the gross matter fades away and we enter a realm of electric attributes. It's a space where fine matters take center stage, creating a vacuum known as Shunya, the ordinary vacuum. Swarloka, our third destination, is the sphere of magnetic aura and electricities. Here, creation, organs, and their objects are absent. It's a profound emptiness known as Mahashunya, the great vacuum. The fourth sphere, Maharloka, is where the creation of darkness, Maya, begins. It serves as a connecting link between the spiritual and material realms, known as the Smadvara, the door to the unknown. Janaloka, the fifth sphere, is the realm of spiritual reflection, the sons of God. Above the comprehension of the creations of darkness, it's called Alaksha, the inexplicable. Moving to the sixth sphere, Tapoloka, the domain of the eternal patience, the Holy Spirit. Unapproachable by the sons of God, it is rightfully called Agama. Our final destination is Satyaloka, the seventh sphere, the sphere of God, where the only real substance, Sat, resides. Indescribable by any name, it's a realm beyond the creations of darkness and light. Anama, the nameless.